so my name is Uchi, Uchi Asinguchi. And uh, before COIL, I, I worked in the uh, decentralized identity space, working on deeds and things like that. And I'm really excited to be able to uh, showcase web monetization and also talk about the COIL prize at the browser 3000 hackathon. As part of this talk, we're gonna really go through how we can hack and end with web monetization. And the goal is to really see some example projects that have already been worked on and how we can get started with, with web monetization. And if you look at this line of code, if I told you that this line of code could enable you to start earning in real time from your web app, would you believe that? So imagine that you just add this on, on the head of your, of, your, of your site and automatically you get paid into your, your wallet. It could be that you want to receive your payments in USD or other cryptocurrency. So the, the person that's viewing your website is going to be paying you uh, directly from the, the, the browser agent. We're going to see how all of that works in a bit. But first, why do we really need a different business model for the web, right? There's, there's ads and there's already ways for people to make money on the web. So why is web monetization or a different strategy necessary? So there are a couple of reasons. And one of it is that currently, if uh, I'm a developer and I write lots of amazing blog content and I want to make money from that, I might have to add ads to my to my blog, which is annoying. We all don't like ads. It's those pop-ups are very annoying. And also it's controlled by a few entities, right? And there's really lack of privacy when we browse ad uh, focused websites. Also, there's also a delay in payments. So from when the payment goes to, goes from uh, the user to the content creator, there's a delay. Right, and that's why the second part of the slide talks about a more fair, transparent, and open way of making money on the web. And this kind of approach is driven by the value provided by, by the content creator. And the content creator could be like a developer that writes about uh, getting started with the web or things like that, or maybe a developer that does tutorials. And how, how can they really make money from, from those tutorials right, in real time? In a way that they are receiving the payments in like micro payments and they can they can spend it instantly and this is possible the second part is what all we all want and it's possible with something called web monetization you are you already talked about this already so he, he saw he showed how it works on the puma browser which is super cool and with web monetization and the coil extension you can also enable real-time payments from your browser to web monetize websites on any browser as far as you have the coil extension. But with time, the goal is that web monetization should be native across all browsers so that regardless of what device you are in, you should be able to uh, browse content and enjoy content without the need to see ads. And you should be able to support the content creators that, that are providing value to you. So let's see how it all works. There are a couple of components that make this possible. And the first one is the, the wallet itself. So this is where you receive your payment, right? Because you don't just want to you don't just want to receive payment and not be able to spend that payment. You don't just want your payment to go to thin air. So you need a way to hold the value or the money you're receiving. And the money, it's currency independent. It doesn't have to be in USD, it doesn't have to be in Bitcoin, it doesn't have to be in SRP, it could be on any cryptocurrency, depending on the wallet provider that you choose. So first you need the wallet, you need the payment pointer. So I like to describe the pay payment pointer as an email address, right? So in an email address, you, you are getting data packets and that data packet could be test, it could be videos, it could be audio files and you get that data packet delivered to your email. And for the payment pointer, it's, this, it's like the email too, but the only difference is that you're getting payment packets and these payment packets could be any currency, right? It could be received in Bitcoin, it could be received in USD, SRP or other cryptocurrency, or even things that are not cryptocurrency depending on the wallet provider. So yeah, 
think about it, the, the payment pointer as your email and it's unique, right? So the, the, the payment is being sent to your, to your payment pointer. I'm gonna show you how to get one in a bit. And then the last part is the HTML meta tag, which is what I talked about before. So this is, this you add it like so in the head of your, of your, of your browser. Once you've done that, anyone that has the web monetization subscription or anyone that uses Puma browser and is signed in is automatically gonna be paying you when they are viewing your content. So let's see how all of that works in a bit. But before we do that, we're gonna look at a couple a few websites that are already well monetized. So Free, Co Free Code Camp is well monetized. Hacker Noon is well monetized. Default, Dev.to, and all of these other websites are well monetized. And the interesting thing about uh, how web monetization works on Dev.2 is that the payment actually goes to uh, the writer of the blog post, right? So all, if I have an account on Dev.2, all I need to do as a writer on that platform is to add my payment pointer, which again, think about it like a phone number, I add it on my profile. And when someone is viewing my blog post on Dev.2, I'm automatically getting paid, right? And this payment pointer can be added to any website. So there's also support for uh, web monetization on WordPress and even like any website I, I, I have. So as far as I can change the, the, the head of my site, I'm able to receive a payment in real time. And I'm just gonna do a quick demo here. So I'll switch to uh, my VS code. So this is simple. This is a simple project. It's just a, a web a website that I'm, that, I, that I'm working on for for a comp, for the workshop that we're hosting. So if I switch back to the browser, you'll notice that if I click this coil extension there, it says that this site isn't supported, right? So that means I don't have web monetization enabled yet. So let's see how easy it is to add web monetization to this site. So I'm gonna switch back to VS Code and I would copy the line of code I've talked about before. So I'm gonna add that to the head of my site there. And once I've done that, I save. When I save, this is gonna refresh and I go back to the browser. So and now it tells me that uh, coil is paying. So just by adding the line of code, uh, the developer of that website, in this case, which is me, I'm getting paid in real time while I view the website. So this is how it's, it works. And I think the potential of web monetization is, is really huge. We're gonna see some examples of how uh, you can use web monetization. So switching back to the presentation mode. Again, uh, we talked about this before. You are able to like set up a wallet, add a payment pointer to your uh, website or your web app, like if you have a hackathon project, for example, and you wanna like add web monetization to it, you can do that by adding one line of code. And also you have the option of uh, redeeming some Koi credits so you don't have to pay for uh, the Koi subscription for maybe six months. So you can go to koi.com slash redeem or reach out to me and, and, and we'll get you set up. Okay, so what can you build today with web monetization? So there are a couple of things that you can build. And one of it is, you'll be able to build a web app, for example, built in React or other frameworks that unlocks new features for web monetized users. So take, for example, the sushi uh, party game that uh, Yuri showed before. Imagine that you are the developer of that game, right? And when someone that is web monetized views that game, you maybe show some additional elimination or like a thank you as a result of them being web monetized. And also you can gamify your app also when someone is paying via web monetization. And then imagine a scenario where you have multiple contributors of content, you're able to do something called probabilistic revenue sharing, whereby uh, each content creator is getting paid for the amount of contribution that they made uh, to that content. And that's kind of what uh, Dev.2 does. And there are lots of business models that you can work on for, for, for sharing content, for sharing uh, payments to multiple users. And something I found really interesting today while, while uh, preparing for this was a way to create an IPFS, web monetized IPFS viewer. So I saw a couple of IPFS 
uh, viewers, and I think they are really cool. So I think it will be fun to see, have some of those well monetized and maybe discover or, or unlock new business models by combining IPFS and web monetization. So I think that's like an interesting experiment that we we'll love to see someone at the hackathon builds and I think it will be really cool. And then also with Puma browser, a combination of Puma browser plus web monetization would also be cool. So imagine like uh, a progressive web app that can work offline on mobile that can be opened by Puma browser. And when uh, a user is well monetized, they, they get paid in real, the, the developer of the app gets paid in real time. So I think that's one of the use case that might be cool to explore at the hackathon. Okay, so what are the next steps to kind of get involved more with, with web monetization? So the first one is uh, the hackathon. We ha we're gonna have the coil prize for the best web monetized project. So join the learning session that uh, we'll be hosting at the hackathon to learn more about that, uh, about that prize. And then the second uh, way to get involved is by participating in a workshop that we're having. Uh, yeah, so we're, we're gonna have a web monetized workshop. And then the third way is the grant for the web. So we, it's a hundred million dollar grant that supports projects that build with interledger and web monetization. And then the last way is by contributing or following the work that we're doing with uh, Rafiki. So Rafiki, it's kind of the next generation of interledger that will enable more wallets or in, that will enable interoperability between multiple platforms or multiple networks, big blockchain networks and uh, interledger. So I'm looking forward to like seeing more people contribute to that and seeing lots of wallets adopt or enable intelligence. And I talked about this before, the Koi Prize for the best web monetization project. So please join uh, the learning session that we'll be hosting to learn more about this prize. And then finally, all of the resources that you need are at developers.coil.com. And then webmonetization.org is where you want to go to learn about all of the uh, details of web monetization. So we have the specs, the, the specification there. So actually web monetization is a proposed W3C standard. So it's hopefully gonna get be in all browsers in the future. And that's kind of where we're working towards. So you see the specification of web monetization, you see documentations and you see uh, some help docs also. So that's all. Uh, for me, uh, if you have any questions, please uh, feel free to ask in the chat. If not, I'm going to pass it on uh, now.